Hello and welcome to this Bug and Cat Team video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I recreated a version of Marinette's ball gun from The Ladybug and Cat Noir, the movie. I'm using Marinette Superhero Secret Doll as my base doll because it comes with a detachable mask like the collector doll has. But you could make this dress for any Marinette or Ladybug doll. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? So my supplies for creating this project is a Marinette doll. I have this kid's dress up skirt as my overlay as it was the only thing I could find with painted on dots. I couldn't find any black dotted fabric so my dress will have a uh, gold dots. I can also use the lining of the skirt for the wings and sleeve detail. Red silky fabric. I also have some silver wire twine and a red glaze to add details to the bodice. I will paint on some silver dots for the bodice but if you don't have paint nail polish can work. I also have some craft foam to make the shoes. I will paint this to be a glittery pink. And I have a pattern I added from a Barbie ball gown. So first up, I need to trace my pattern on the fabric. I'm using pen so it shows up in camera. I don't recommend for you to use pen and it's always a good idea to pin your fabric together. Now off camera, I fuse the ends of the fabric. As this type of fabric will thread itself apart, uh, this step needs to be done by a responsible adult. The fusing also means I don't need to hem. Before I put the dress pieces together, I need to sew the darts on the bodice. I am using a sewing machine for this project, but it could easily be done by hand. I'm actually making two tops during this video, one for the close-up camera and one for the bird's eye camera, because I only got one camera and I'm not moving it between each piece. I am now adding the silver dots detailing to the bodice so it can lay flat while drying. To add the silver dots, I just dipped the blunt end of a skewer in the silver paint and stamped it on my fabric. Now that the silver paint is dry, I go over with some glittery paint to give it more of a shimmer. I sew the shoulders together, joining the front and back of the bodice right sides together. I have my skirt lining and now I'm cutting out the wings and sleeves. I'm using a yellow texture for my outline so you can see it on camera. I don't recommend you use textures on your fabric. Get some tailored chalk. My sleeves are different from the collector doll, mainly because I'm using a different type of fabric. I need four wings and two sleeves and I cut out and fuse the edges. Now the trick when making small doll's clothing is to sew the sleeves on before sewing the sides together. So I attach the sleeve keeping the right sides together. sewing the front and the back of the bodice together at the sides. And then I attach the waistband uh, wherever that footage is gone. Here is the longest continuous sewing for this dress, joining the two ends of the skirt section. I have cut four squares out of my gold dot fabric and now I need to place them at the top of the skirt section. I cut a small hole in the center to push the doll through. Now the tricky part, sewing the bodice to the skirt section. You want to make sure your right sides of the fabric are together and pin so the front of the skirt and dress are facing the right way. This section is very small and tight to sew on a machine. Our dress pieces are all together, so now it's time to add some more details. I'm adding the lace and the wire to the neckline of the bodice. And here it is. Different from the collector doll, but that's okay. Now I need to fuse the back of the dress together so it can be taken on and off the doll. I don't have any Velcro, so I'm going to be using these snap fasteners I already have. I'm using a Rena Rouge doll for size reference, and now I can sew on the wings. Okay, this is my dress so far. Now onto the accessories. 
I have my shoe and flower pattern I trace onto the foam with something sensible this time. A pencil. I have my hot glue gun ready to glue the shoes together. I put glue on the sole of the shoes and then wrap the top section around and pinch the ends together. I then sculpt the shoes into shape with some scissors. I am using Marinette's original shoe as a reference. Now they are ready for some paint. The collector doll shoes are glittery pink, so I am going to paint the shoes and the flower in a darker pink. This was the only pink my discount store had, so that's what I'm using. While I wait for my paints to dry, I am going to style Marinette's hair. I won't be able to get the best bun because I'm using shorter hair doll, which has been rooted into pigtails. The collector will have longer hair, so it's able to be styled how it is. So. I'm working with what I've got. Time to seal the paint so it doesn't chip off. I found this Barbie necklace which I painted white to be Marinette's pearl necklace, but then I went with a real beaded one as this doll will not be played with and kept away from children under the age of three. So I just threaded the beads tightly around her neck. So now I need to sew the front pink flower with the back black backing together with some yellow thread and attach it to her hair. And. Ta-da! So here she is, my version of the Marinette ball gown. I also have the Adrian to Cat Noir doll, so make sure you like this video if you'd like to see me make Adrian's suit. And if comments are still on, let me know your thoughts on my Marinette ball gown. Did I nail it or fail it? Thanks for watching. Bug and Cat Team out.